she did not want to die. She wanted to live. It's an experience no parent should ever have to go through. Phone call in the middle of the night from the coroner. Some man in the middle of the night calling, saying, is there anybody with you? On August 8th, 2018, Susan Weinstein's daughter Meredith died of a heroin overdose. She was 34 years old. All the right signs were there, but maybe also as a parent, you want to bury your head and not, not think this could be my child. Meredith's addiction began after a sledding accident in 2010. She was prescribed pain medicine, but soon began to abuse the drugs. She was in and out of rehab over the years, eventually getting sober in early 2017. She told me, Mama, I can't tell you that I'll never use again. I don't intend to use again, but I don't want to go back to that life. I want to be clean. I want to live like this. When her daughter passed away, Susan did the only thing she could. She shared Meredith's story in a painfully honest obituary. Whatever little tiny piece of good could come out of losing Meredith, that if it would help one other person or make one other person aware of how prevalent this is, I thought it was important to do. The obituary was shared across social media with people reaching out to Susan, sharing their own stories. I've gotten a lot of response from, from people I do know as well as people that are total strangers. Her daughter's death opening the door for an important conversation to end the stigma of addiction. I think people need to understand that this, this happens to so many good people. Laura Monteverdi, THV 11 News.